When it comes to buying beautiful 3D printing filament, it feels like the UK quite often gets a little bit left out and forgotten. There are some Amazon sellers with different colors, you know, here and there, but the quality, you know, and consistency often feels like it's just a bit of a gamble. You roll the dice every time you buy one, you don't really know quite what you're gonna get. So when everyone, not everyone, everyone reached out to ask if they, if I'd like to try some of their filament with an option to ship from the UK, I was pretty keen to see what they offered. Their full name, Shenzhen Everyone Technology Company Limited, will immediately let you know that this isn't a British company, but it's nice to know that they have a way to fulfill orders in little old blighty. They do ship also from the US, Canada and EU locations, so I think that probably covers like at least 80% of my viewers. So there's probably something nearish to you. They let me pick from their selection of filaments on the website, so I had quite a lot to pick from, but I eventually settled on a rainbow PLA, a dual color silk, gold and purple PLA, and a copper fill PLA. My first impressions were pretty good. The spools are nicely wound, the colors of the that dual tone gold and purple are super vibrant, and the glossy silk effect I think looks really good. The copper PLA looks about as brown as you'd expect for filament with around 15% copper in it, and the rainbow is maybe not quite as vibrant as I was expecting, but actually still really nice. Unfortunately, the spools themselves are plastic. I prefer to see uh, cardboard ones just because I like to recycle them at the end of using them, but they can be a little bit of a pain to use as well, so I can see why you might choose not to. The copper material was actually not quite as dense as I was expecting, so I took a one meter sample of Prusa Mystic Brown and the Everyone Copper Fill and weighed them to see like, if I could work out how much copper and stuff. So the Copper Fill came out at 3.42 grams and the Prusa was 2.95 grams. So by my calculations, this works out to be about 16% by weight of copper which is about 97.5% PLA by volume and 2.5% copper by volume. So for each meter of filament, you get about 25 millimeters of copper and 975 millimeters of PLA. Now you know. You know what else you need to know about? Our sponsor. Vector3D. That's right. I'm sponsoring this video because VLMP or the Vertical Linear Motion Press is now available for pre-order and will be shipping fairly soon. It's the ideal tool for putting threaded inserts into 3D printed parts. It's basically a counterweighted soldering iron grabber that gives smooth linear motion to help you get threaded inserts into your 3D printed parts nice and straight every single time. There are different grip sizes available so you can have the right grip size for any different soldering iron that you have. The counterweight is fully adjustable, so again, for any different weight of soldering iron you can have, you can get the right counterbalance to get that nice, smooth, linear motion. The V-slot wheels are obviously adjustable to get the right amount of friction and speed, and of course, it's super easy to assemble with very minimal tools. You can pre-order now via the link in the video description. So where were we? Yes, testing. For the print testing, I've decided to do some mechanical prints, like specific bridging, overhang tests, etc and also some organic models as more like a maybe real use case for this aesthetic style filament. I've used Prusa Mystic Brown as like a benchmark for the mechanical prints so you have something to compare to, and all the prints were done on my Prusa Mark III and with the same G-code for every single material. This first test is for stringing. The results show that they're all pretty similar to the Prusa PLA, I think, with the exception perhaps of the copper fill which seems to have a little bit more stringing than the rest of them. Perhaps this is as a result of the increased density or maybe just some other property of having copper in the filament. The next one is the overhang test. In this case, I think the Everyone Copper Fill and Prusa performed similarly with the rainbow and dual color silk performing slightly better. For normal use cases, I don't think you'll see much difference though between these filaments at all. The last mechanical test object is the bridging test. I'd say the rainbow filament performed the best here, and then Prusament, and then the copper fill, and then the dual color silk. They were all pretty close though. 
Now let's move on to the more organic test objects, the ones that really look rather stylish. This first print, printed in the Erewhon Copperfield PLA, is a Vecna bust by Threedom Sculpts. Then we have the Bearded Skull by Roger Studios in the Rainbow PLA. Next, we have one of the Trophy Cup Collection by Floralistic in the dual colour silk, gold and purple PLA. And lastly, the Winged Serpent by Cinderwing 3D, using again the dual colour silk PLA in gold and purple. Personally, I think that all of these turned out really good and I did absolutely no tuning, so it'd be pretty easy for you to obtain similarly good results as well. I did make some poor slicing decisions on the Vecna bust, which led to some holes in the top of the head, but that's definitely not a problem with the filament, it's just I didn't slice it particularly well. Overall, I do really like the appearance of the copper fill once printed, but it might need someone with a little more talent than me when it comes to like finishing, you know, getting the most out of its appearance. I actually also printed a Crystal Dragon by Cinderwing 3D in the Rainbow PLA, but the outcome was sadly affected a little bit by the Beagle print device, which I was also reviewing, so you can watch the video on that. The skull, however, turned out really good. And I like the idea that the rate of change of the colors on the print will depend on the amount of filament used per layer. So you could kind of play with that uh, effect to get something that looks kind of interesting. The gold and purple dual color PLA was definitely my favorite material of the three. Uh, dual color filaments in general have been pretty popular recently. And now, finally, that I'm using one, I can really see why. It provides a really interesting effect when like viewed from just changing angles. Like it seems obvious, but until you hold it and your object changes color from one rotation to the other, it's kind of mind boggling. Anyway, that's it from me today. There'll be a link in the video description if you want to get some of this filament from everyone. That's it from me and the bearded skull, Vecna, and this beautiful winged serpent by Cinderwing 3D, and of course, the dual colour trophy mug. Oh, it's just awesome. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.